There's something about the letters PE after an engineer's name that says something really, really, really valuable about a person, something that can carry them through their career. And in this week's Pass the PE exam video, I'm thrilled to have with me Bill Lloyd. Bill is a licensed professional engineer. He's also the president of Great West Engineering. He's really grown in his career to become a high level leader. And it was very much because of his engineering license. But in this interview, Bill talks about something that the letters PE tell people about you immediately. And it's something that we don't often think about. This week's episode is brought to us by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exam since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem-solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass, or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. All right, so I'm excited to have with me Bill Lloyd. Bill is a licensed professional engineer. He's also the president of Great West Engineering, Inc., which is headquartered in Montana. So, Bill, thanks for coming on and talking a little bit about the importance of the professional engineering license. Our show here, our channel here is really to help, you know, those engineers that are considering getting their license and they really want to, you know, get that PE and build from there. So as a president of a company, someone who's had a, a successful career, can you talk a little bit about the importance of the PE license in your career and how it's helped you to progress? First off, Anthony, thanks for the opportunity to come on and visit with you this morning. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I've been in the consulting industry the majority of my career and becoming licensed as a professional engineer was a key stepping stone um, in my career. So without a professional engineering license, you're unable to take responsibility. You can't be in a responsible charge for your own work. Someone else always has to review and 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 take responsibility for the work that you produce. So it really is one of the, if it's not the most important stepping stone in your career, it's one of them. And it really demonstrates that your competency, that you're committed to public safety, and that you understand the basic principles. But once you are able to assume responsibility for not only the work you produce, but now you can assume responsibility for those that are producing work on your projects and learning under you, it really opens up um, the possibilities of where you can take your career. Yeah. And I would also think from someone who's in a leadership position like yourself, a lot of our viewers have a supervisor who might be someone at your level or, you know, um, someone at your level might be looking at their career and helping them grow in their career. And I would imagine that those are the types of things that you look at when you look across your organization for leaders in the organization. I'm sure the PE license pops up as something that you're, that, that is impressive to someone who's thinking about where someone could go in their firm, right? Oh, you're absolutely correct. So part of it is just personal initiative. You know, it takes a lot of effort to prepare yourself study for and take that PE exam. And and uh, and I will take a step back too and say, if you don't pass your PE exam on the, on the first attempt or the second attempt, there's no shame in that. It's a, mm -hmm. difficult, it's a difficult exam. We have some of our uh, best engineers, best leaders, best people at Great West Engineering that took more than one shot at the PE exam before they passed it. So uh, perseverance and persistence as well. But uh, it really says something about someone when they are willing to invest their time and effort into getting that PE license, but it also allows them to become the mentor, right? You, anyone can be a mentor, but once you're a project manager, it opens up more opportunities to mentor and develop young staff because you are able to run your own projects. 
Um, you don't have to run projects. If you're a professional engineer, you can stay in a technical track and, and predominantly stay in the design side uh, if that's where you choose to take it. But um, it, it really, I think, is, a, is an accomplishment. We absolutely look for it. Um, and if you're going to advance in Great West Engineering, at least up through a, a business unit manager level, it's really a requirement. We need to have people with with professional engineering licenses who understand our industry, are able to have that dialogue with our clients, and and are able to develop the staff under them. Yeah, and I'm really glad that you talked about that initiative piece of it because to me, you know, when you're evaluating talent within your organization or someone to bring into your organization. You know, there's so many things that people could be measured against, obviously, without, you know, talking to them or sitting down with them and getting to know them. And I think that, yes, the PE license is great for a lot of the reasons you mentioned in terms of technical and the expertise and the credibility. But also, like you said, it tells you a lot about someone when they have a credential like that, that they took the initiative with everything else they have going on in their life and their career. And they really dug in and were able to accomplish a goal, which it, it's a it's a big feat. To, you know, you have to pass a couple of eight hour exams, obviously, to get your license. And, you know, I tell people that all the time, whether it's my kids or people that I work with at EMI, is that when someone sees that you have a credential like that, it just tells them about the person you are in terms of you're willing to put something on the line, you're willing to do something. And quite frankly, when you're building a business, you're growing an organization, those are the kind of people that you want to have in your organization. So I think sometimes that gets lost a little bit in the idea of, hey, you want a PE because you want to sign and seal drawings and you want to be a technical expert. And those are all true. But to me, it's that layer of, man, that person buckled up in their career. And I know for you, Bill, you've had your license for a while now. And I know the exam has changed, but you know, you went through it where I'm sure you were working as an engineer and you had to study and you had to go through that process. And kind of any, any tips you can give someone for taking on something like that in their career in addition to everything they have going on? I'm really glad you brought that point up that there's a lot going on in your life by the time you take your PE exam, right? So you'll take your EI exam, oftentimes your last semester of college or shortly out of it. And maybe, maybe you think you're busy, but you're not really that busy at that <laughs> point in time, but, but you get four years down the road. I mean, states are different, right? So in Montana, you're required to have four years, uh, as a practicing engineer under the supervision of another professional engineer before you are accepted to, to take the PE exam. I know in, in a neighboring state, you can take the PE exam after, say, two years. You're just not allowed to receive your license until you have four years of experience. But uh, you think about where you are four years out of college. Very likely you have found a life partner. Uh, you may have children and beginning to start a family. You have a home and you have to maintain a home and 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 you're trying to build out your social network. And all at the same time, you are preparing to take an eight hour exam that's very comprehensive. And so at Great West Engineering, we will we'll pay for your exam materials. We will give you the day off when you take your exam. Uh, we will cover expenses to travel to take your exam. But it's up to the employee to prepare for that exam. And that's where all the effort goes in. So on top of all these changes in your life and, and trying to build a life, you're, you're taking a lot of time to prepare for an exam that's really going to set the foundation for your future by, by you know, allowing you to obtain your PE license. And if I had any piece of advice, it would be one, start early. Uh, you don't want to start studying for your exam two weeks before. There's a lot of material to cover. But two, take it seriously just like you take your job or like uh, like the responsibilities you take with your family. It, you know, if you take it seriously, you allocate the time, um, you, you study on a routine basis, it, it's going to turn out well for you, uh, whether it's the first time or if you have to take it over. You know what? That's not unusual. Um, keep your head up and 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 uh, and keep focused, and you're going to get through it. But there's just a lot going on, and if someone is able to show me they've got a, a professional engineer's license, that really speaks to personal initiative to me. Yeah, and and I think Bill hit on something there really important when he said take it as serious as your job. I mean, I think the odds of you losing your job as a PE 
go down dramatically than if you don't have your license. But also, if you happen to find yourself without a job for whatever reason, and of course, I hope that doesn't happen to you, but if you have a PE license, I can guarantee you there'll be a line of firms that are lined up to come and hire you to get that next position. So it's really, so I just, I always tell people, once you get that license, as long as you maintain it, nobody can take it away from you. And that's something that is gold in terms of your sustainability and the growth of your career for the long term. It kind of gives you that something that you can lean on and really take it and do what you want with it. And that's why, you know, all the stuff that Bill said, you have a house, you might have a family. That's why it can be easy to kind of punt on this exam. You know, like I'll do it later, push it off and it becomes harder. Or you don't pass it the first time and I'll take it again in a couple of years. You don't want to do that. You want to focus on this exam, get it done. It'll be a huge cornerstone in kind of setting you up for success in your career. And so, Bill, again, I thank you for coming on here and just spending a little time here with our viewers um, on some of your thoughts on the license and the exam. And we, we just appreciate the time. Uh, it's been a pleasure, Anthony. Always look forward to visiting with you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed my conversation with Bill. I think what he talked about in terms of the PE license tells someone that you have initiative and drive is gold. It is valuable. Those are the types of people that people are looking to hire and build their firm around. So please consider subscribing to our channel here. We're going to continue to put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help you pass the PE exam. We'll cover specific topics. We'll give more practice problems. And we're going to keep doing it because we want you to pass the PE exam. And please, if you have specific questions or topics that you need us to touch on, or you have a specific need in your study habits or in your study efforts, please leave comments below this video and I will read and respond to them. And I'll see you next week on Pass the PE Exam.